Hi, Leo. Welcome to your May love reading. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So we are going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have with somebody. So you don't necessarily have to be together, but you do have, have to at least know each other in some way, shape, or form, and have to you know, have to believe you have some sort of connection with them. So we'll see what comes out here. You could be separated. You could be, could be together. You could just like somebody, think they like you, whatever your situation is here. Hopefully this resonates for you. Uh, this is for sun, moon, rising in Venus, male or female. It could also be past, present, or future energies. So please only take it how it resonates for you. And you can interchange the connect, the, um, energies whenever you see fit. Um, if it's not your reading, it's not pertaining to you, it's not making sense, then it's not your reading. Please don't try to make it fit or uh, leave me negative comments because I will um, delete them. Or you could check the description box below for your general and love playlist. Maybe something there will resonate for you. Even though they're dated, I consider them timeless. So feel free to check that out. And you could check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs also. Um, you could find their playlist on my channel also. So let's see what we have for you Leo in love at this time. All right. Let's see what we have <clears throat> for Leo. For Leo. Leo. This is a zodiac oracle, so we get a sign, element, or planet. And we shall see how that plays into, plays into your reading. And if you don't resonate with the sign, if we get a sign that comes out, you don't resonate with the sign, that is totally fine. Um, this is like a little extra bonus I just like to do and uh, stick out for the rest of the reading. And if you clicked on the title, then something there resonated for you also. All right, let's get one of these for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for the collective. This is a general collective reading. It's not a private reading, but if you would like a private reading, that info is down below in the description box, as well as a lot of other information, social media links, decks I'm using, how to tip or donate, send a gift a lot of stuff down there Whoop. so please go check that out so we have jupiter energy which is the energy of sagittarius so you could be dealing with a sagittarius sun moon rising or venus if not that's totally fine but the jupiter energy is all about luck expansion faith um having faith hope optimism spirituality joy and prosperity so it's all like positive energy so we'll see how that plays into your reading. Someone needing to have um, faith, hope, and optimism about a connection. We do have Jupiter here is 18, which is nine. And nines are about almost coming up to a completion of something or something just about coming up to full circle because nine would then be 10, which would be a completion of something, but then there's always a new beginning. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. So with this deck here, this is a new deck for me. This is the journey of love. So <clears throat> first time I'm using it for the love readings for May. Felt it was time for a new love deck since I don't have uh, don't have too many, but I hope to get more, more, you know, in the future. So any donations uh, would really help in new decks. All right, so let's see what we have. We're gonna pull an opening love energy between you and your person at this time, Leo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, male or female, for the general collective, for Leo spirit, please, thank you so much. What is the love connection energy like between Leo and whoever they are thinking about at this time? The bride offers herself, and we have 43, which is seven. Seven is a very divinely spiritual guided energy. So somebody here, either you or them, and it says bride, but it doesn't have to be, it can be male or female. Somebody definitely offered something to somebody. All right, so there was an offering of some kind. So let's see, and it says bride. I mean, it doesn't have to be bride. That could just be you no know, divine, divine, divine feminine or divine masculine energy, but somebody definitely offered something to somebody else here. And we do see, a lot of red there, which, you know, is about love. So somebody definitely offered love, was divinely guided to offer something. So, all right. So let's see here. Let's get Leo. I'm going to put you on this side, your person on this side. One for each. How are you both feeling about each other in the connection? 
Now we'll clarify that energy. That's too many with the tarot. And then we'll look at the actual situation between you and your person. And then uh, advice, possible outcome. And then we'll get some more energies here with this uh, oracle at the end. And I always go over the bottom of the decks. So let's get one for Leo's person. How is Leo's person, whoever they're thinking about for this reading, thinking about Leo and the connection? All right. Let's see what we have for you, Leo. The cloak and we have 50 which is five which is change so and it's funny because with Sagittarius is reading so if you are dealing with a Sagittarius I think the opening card was that this card in Sagittarius had this card in the same exact position or no I think uh, Sagittarius this person had this card in this position but these two cards definitely did come out for Sagittarius. So if you are dealing with the Sag, you may want to cross watch that reading. So let's see what um, your person has at Leo. The breaking, which is 65, which is 11. And 11 to me is half of the twin flame number. But then if you add that together is two, which is unity. So I feel like with the cloak here, it's sort of like, um, like an armor, uh, a cloak of like protection, like having a wall up. Um, hiding something or turning your back on something, putting up like defenses um, or being on guard kind of energy. This cloak stands for a cloak of protection. So either protecting yourself or putting your walls up or blocking somebody out um, kind of energy because you do see like all the cloudy energy around, but then there's sun in the middle, brightness in the middle. And we have 55, which is about change or challenge. So for you, Leo, I mean, it could be you or how you're feeling about your person that maybe they have like uh, an armor on or they're defensive on guard or they're trying to protect themselves, trying to cover something up maybe, or that's your energy. So you may feel they're trying to cover something up here. But we do have your person as having the breaking here, which is something is like a breakthrough. Something's breaking through, something's coming to light enlightenment something is breaking down within them uh, about this connection coming to the surface coming to light enlightenment some sort of breakthrough that perhaps now realizing that you two are now soulmates or twin flames but I think you feel like they've been hiding something or you've been hiding something or having a wall up a wall of protection up so it could be a challenge for somebody here to uh, have this breakthrough or break break on through to the other side I don't getting that song um, so let's see what the bottom of the deck is here rings of time 44 44 here is all about foundation stability add, to, add that together is eight is about taking action travel communication with the rings of time this is something through time and I'm getting like uh, rings that are intertwined. So you might, and almost like infinity. So I feel like through time and space, you've definitely had um, lifetimes with this person. Definitely been intertwined in their energy through lifetimes, through like rings of time, maybe even married to them in another life here. Because four is, you know, the twin flame number also, you know, 1111. So I'm just looking at the numbers here. We have four. We have four here. Leo, you're five. We have nine, seven, five, oh, two. So I do see here rings of time being connected with them through lifetimes, through time, space, eternity. Uh, somebody did offer something here. Somebody's having a breakthrough about this connection, possibly them. Um, about the connection with you and you either see them as being walled off, blocked, um, protecting themselves, maybe hiding something or it's your energy. So I'm going to clarify this energy for Leo, for Leo please, and this love reading for May at this time for the collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, for Leo. So what is this energy about for Leo with the cloak? Can we clarify that energy, please? It's 
Spirit. Thank you. So, mm -mm. That one. Oh, the Two of Swords. Somebody's indecisive here. All right, I'm going to take that one and these two for your person. So for you, we got the Two of Swords. Wow, we got Three of Swords. So it's possibly here somebody was indecisive and, bl again, blocked, blocked, the quote, blocking, which caused heartache and pain. So somebody was indecisive here and blocked an offer, which caused someone to have heartache and pain. So either was you, Leo, or them. However, that resonates for you. But let's see what your person has here. We have, oh, the magician. So that's nice. So wanting to start uh, something new here, a new beginning, one new beginning, manifest a new beginning. Having a breakthrough of wanting to manifest some sort of new beginning. And we have the magician energy here, which is uh, Gemini and Virgo. If I mention the signs, wow. <laughs> if I mention the signs uh, in this reading, um, that's good because that could be the person or it doesn't matter. It's all energy. It could be taking on the energy of the signs I mentioned. Doesn't necessarily mean that um, it is that sign. So we do have the Ace of Swords here. So this is my like divine clarity, divine intervention. Whenever I get the Ace of Swords or the King, Queen of Swords, to me, always reminds me of divine energy, divine enlightenment, divine intervention. So this person here, and, you know, the Ace of Swords is all about um, truth and clarity, enlightenment, aha moment, epiphany, um, a su successful uh, new beginning, victorious new beginning, based upon truth and clarity and honest, truthful communication, cutting away energy is no longer serving, whether they're people, places, or things. And telling it like it is, standing up, not backing down. So someone here had victory and clarity, knowing exactly something with this uh, breaking. There's been a breakthrough with this person that now they want success and victory and clarity. They've had clarity and now want to manifest a brand new beginning, possibly with you. But you see them as hiding something, being protective, blocking an offer. Or vice versa, however, which left uh, heartache and pain here. So let's look into the situation here for you, Leo. Okay. New beginning. The fool. Oh, yeah. You definitely want to reset things back to zero. Start over. Start fresh. Dive right in. Have a new beginning here, possibly with this person. Four of Wands. Yeah, you do, you do see this as a divine. It's my <laughs> twin flame card. So you definitely see them as your soulmate twin flame. You want this new beginning with them. Um, you know, wanting to start over, start fresh, reset at zero. Reward, you know, it's also about uh, happy home and family, stability in the home, um, ceremonies, celebrations, commitment, marriage, all that kind of energy. Not necessarily, okay, I want a marriage right away or commitment right away, but some sort of stability uh, here in this connection, you know, leading to happy times. And definitely here, uh, Twin Flame card. So you definitely want this new beginning with your Twin Flame, resetting everything back to zero, even though there's been uh, blocking and decisiveness and pain and heartache. And the lovers. Um, I can't make this up. The lovers. Gemini energy here. And the fool here is um, Aquarius. So <laughs> that's your connective energy between the two of you is the lovers. Soulmate. Soulmates. Twin Flames. Here, you see this person seeing each other here as soulmate, twin flames, and lovers, making this conscious choice to, and I had said the intertwining energy as the ring of times, and you see that? The infinity wrapped in each other through time, uh, lifetimes, through space, time, for eternity, being connected to one another. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, <clears throat> what else here for this actual situation for Leo? All right, let's take these two. So, we have the Six of Swords coming out on their side, which is a nice energy that's about leaving everything behind, whatever um, offer was declined in the past, kind of like unrequited love or just a rejection, a blocking, and then a heartache. Whatever was in the past here, this leaving it behind and traveling, going into more calmer, peaceful, harmonious waters to calmness, peace, and joy. 
So they're in that energy also, Page of Pentacles. So wanting to offer something stable, maybe even something long-term or an, an energy here offering something maybe small, but it's steady, it's secure, it's stable, it's trustable, it's dependable, it's practical, and it's about building slowly. Can we, you know, communication, stable communication, for, you know, seeing this opportunity now with you, but can we take it slow? Page, pentacles are very, very slow. It's earth energy. So they want, they want calm energy, but they want, they want this opportunity, but they want to take it like, you see, turtle pace there. So take it very, very slow. The pentacles are good energy. So let's get some advice for you, Leo, for this connection. Wow. What is the advice for Leo? So let's take these two. So we have the six of cups. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so this is, again, with the past life soulmates intertwined through the rings of time through lifetimes. Nostalgia, memories, good times, uh, thinking back um, on past lifetimes or somebody you knew from the past or a long time. Reflection, reflecting. Soulmates reflect one another. And we have the page of wands. This is good news coming in here. Fiery, passionate communication. Uh, some sort of good news coming in. This could be divine communication coming to you about this uh, past life soulmate. Or it could be good news coming in from them some sort of good news so this is your advice so just know this definitely is and trust so i think your person needs to they're trying to gain their trust they're trying to trust you they're trying to have more uh trusting abilities in others they're regaining their stability um, we have the king of pentacles here which is earth energy which could be virgo so they're trying to gain their um, stability, their structure, their balance, um, their foundation, learning how to trust again. But, you know, they got the offer here and the offer here. So they're definitely coming across somebody very wise, practical, smart, maybe analyzing things here, whether or not to trust in this opportunity with you. But we do see the two facing each other here. So let's get one more. Let's get one more. For you, Leo, for this advice. Three of Cups re reuniting, celebrating, having a good time. Although it's hard right now with lockdown. But reunion in some way, shape, or form is here. It could be in the summertime. Maybe the end of summer. Kind of what I'm getting. But <laughs> just to know your advice here that there will be a reunion, a coming together celebrating having a good time maybe meeting up for a drink or something like that and someone coming across very stable grounded secure this is a long-term potential here to build very slowly to grab this opportunity go in a more calm peaceful place i feel like this person doesn't want any drama either they just want to be calm and peaceful and take it very slow and steady and practical and that's the good news coming in Reflection, so this person could know definitely this is a special kind of soulmate connection. Now, wow, Leo. So let's see. Let's see what the possible outcome is for you, Leo. Nine of Wands. So this is an energy of being a wounded warrior, but not giving up. And, you know, the energy of, you know, keep fighting on, keep moving on, um, either fighting for something, you know, Standing up and fighting, even though I've been through the ringer. So somebody's been through the ringer here. So somebody here lost Seven of Swords. But I also take that as, you know, lies, deceit, or self-deceit, you know, not being open and honest um, about how somebody was feeling. Also energy, or it can be an energy of just kind of sneaking away from something, get, you know, get out of something. Let's get one more for the possible outcome here for Leo. We have all this great energy. So let's see what the possible outcome would be. Ten of Swords. So some kind of painful, hurtful, a lot of ear energy here. Painful, hurtful ending. So somebody here had a painful, hurtful ending. That was a loss. They're getting away from. And they're feeling like they've been the wounded warrior. But they still have fight left in them. So this could be your person or you. 
So let's get a couple more. So I don't feel comfortable leaving it at that. So what is the Nine of Wands about for Leo? What is this about for Leo? For the possible outcome? The star. Wow. So somebody here, again, I felt that. It's been through the ringer. A battle, a fight. They're bruised. They're scarred. They're scorned. But the star here, Aquarius, is here for hope, faith, optimism, divinely guided energy, wishes and dreams coming true, and healing. So whatever battle scars they have here, they're healing. They're being divinely guided. They're having, regaining faith, hope, and optimism here and wanting a wish or dream come true. They could see you as a star. Or maybe you are a star or they're a star in some way, shape, or form. All right, so what is Seven of Swords? Okay, about here, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, and that's about walking away, change, and walking away from things no longer fulfilling. So somebody here, whether it was you or them, walked away, got out of a situation which was no longer fulfilling, had to just seven of swords, get out, I don't care, I just got to get out of there. And, you know, maybe, you know, this was the energy of, you know, walking away, not being honest about how they truly felt in the past also, but something is changing here, the seven of swords. So let's see what the ten of swords, the two of cups, partnership. So I definitely feel like here, whether it was you or them, somebody uh, is really beat up over an ending they went through and they just, they had to get out of it no matter what, they had to get out, get away from there, but they're divinely guided, they're healing, they have faith, hope, and optimism once again, and that was the energy of Jupiter also, is also that faith, hope, optimism, luck, expansion walking away from something no longer fulfilling to them so that they can come into partnership to soulmate union here with the two of cups energy here so let's just see who the two of cups is leo what is the two of cups here what is the two of cups here leo so we got the lovers and the two of cups for soulmate union the knight of swords drama so yeah and i felt that Somebody got out of a situation which was full of drama, Knight of Swords. So this is taking action, very quick, fast-paced action. Um, this can be Aquarius, but doesn't have to be. So, And, you know, using the sword to cut away energies, again, no longer serving. Truth, clarity, telling it like it is, cutting away the drama, rushing in quick, or somebody causing drama. Somebody could try to cause drama between your union with your soulmate twin flame. Also, let's get another card here for Leo. What is this Knight of Swords about? The qu Wow, the Queen of Swords. Resilience. Wow, a lot of air here. So if someone's dealing with a um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a lot of air here. But we do have the Queen of Swords here, which could be Libra. This is my Divine Energy card. Again, we got the Queen and the Ace there. Divine intervention, divine enlightenment, divine energy, resilience. I feel like somebody, king or queen, doesn't matter. Somebody's going to take a stand against anyone coming in to cause drama between soulmate union with you. Because they've walked away from all that energy and they've healed. They're divinely guided. They know what they want now. And they're not putting up with this knight of swords energy anymore is what I feel. Four of Pentacles energy again. So stability, foundation, basis, security, um, holding on, not being able to let go. Or it can be an energy of not giving or taking. So what is under that? So three of Pentacles. Wow, a lot of Pentacle energy here. So three of Pentacles. So teamwork, collaboration, working together, coming together. So someone's been holding back, but now there's an energy of wanting to work together, come together. They've been waiting, seeing the potential. And we had opportunity here and seeing the potential, but ha needing to wait with the Seven of Pentacles energy, assessing, analyzing kind of energy, because we have the Nine of Cups. So a wish to wish fulfillment, happiness, joy in every single way here, because we do have the Star energy. Knight of Wands energy here, which could be Leo, that's your energy. So taking action, somebody taking action here, with a lot of drive, passion, ambition, creative, exciting. Eight of Wands, so there's the communication, travel, action, communication, Cupid's arrow, sending messages of love, 
and coming forward in the in the uh, fire energy because we did have the four of wands also to the two of pentacles uh ten of pentacles so <laughs> luck so this is also luck expansion growth um prosperity um family dynamic can give you marriage commitment the whole nine yards lifetime potential here with the ten of pentacle energy so yep i do see uh, Someone taking action and bringing in some good news, travel action, communication, Cupid's arrow striking, to wish fulfillment, happiness and joy, but there's been waiting and holding back for the right opportunity to work together and come together uh, with the Three of Pentacles energy. Wow, somebody's been divinely guided here. They've had a breakthrough, they've had enlightenment, they know what they want now, the Ace of Swords. So, wow. The lovers, the two of cups. Okay, so the star, divinely guided energy for you, Leo. All right, so four of wands, soulmate twin flame. Four of wands, the lovers, two of cups. All right, so let's see here. And we do have the magician here, which comes right after the fool. So this is resetting at zero and then having the new beginning uh, with one. So. All right, so let's see here, Leo. Get some closing messages for Leo about this connection. Spirit, please, thank you so much for the collective. Someone rising in Venus, male or female. Variance here, which is 39, which is 12, which is three, which is teamwork, collaboration. So variance here can be variance, can be um, different aspects. Of this connection you know gaining enlightenment and looking at every little aspect of this connection understanding it um, there may be differences between the two of you but I feel like um, whatever differences there are I think there's still an energy of coming together and meeting in the middle here somewhere as with the three of pentacle energy is like working it out teamwork collaboration all right, so what else here? Let go. Yeah, somebody here let go. There's the Ace of Swords coming through again. Somebody definitely let go here. Wow, look how similar that looks. So somebody definitely here let go of things. Nine. Nine is almost coming to a completion. Something, you know, coming to an end. So somebody here letting go. Divine intervention, clarity. Um, letting go of things no longer serving. So somebody definitely here let go. Or is in the process of letting go of things no longer serving. People, places, things, situations, whatever it is here. So is there any other messages for Leo about this connection? There is only light. And we have 33, again, about teamwork, collaboration, coming together, working it out. So where there was darkness, but now there is only light. Being a light, shining your light, that's my motto. Shining your light, being the light, shedding your light. Only looking at the positive, happiness, joy, expansion, enlightenment. Somebody, again, with breakthrough here, breaking breakthrough and having enlightenment here and being enlightened and seeing now the light. Somebody saw the light. All right. Divine Masculine. So it was the Divine Masculine here, 32-5, which uh, had a change here. There was a challenge and there was a change. Divine, whether you are Divine Masculine, you can be male or female. Whoever the Divine Masculine is here, there's been a challenge, but change. And uh, letting go, seeing the light, having a breakthrough, and now knowing exactly what they want. And this is a connection here that's been through many lifetimes, divinely connected. Wow. Okay, Leo, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.